Welcome back to another video everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the recent changes that have been made in the highway code. And these changes are quite significant, so it's important that you know what these are. So let's get started. So yes, there's been some new changes in the highway code recently. And these changes are quite significant, so it's important that you familiarize yourself with these changes. I'm not gonna go through each one of these changes in this video, as this is gonna be a brief video, but what I will do is put a link in the description so you can have a look at these changes in more detail. And what they're trying to do basically is make the road safer, obviously, and what they've done is created a hierarchy system. And what this means is basically, the bigger the vehicle on the roads, the more responsibility you have of safety of others around you. Potentially, a bigger vehicle can cause more harm if there was an accident. So, for example, in the hierarchy system, if you're, a, let's say, a pedestrian, you would have more priority over a cyclist. And let's say a cyclist would have more priority over a car. And a car, for example, a truck and so on. So, yeah, you need to be aware of other people around you and ensure their safety as well as your own. You still all have responsibilities but as big as the vehicle potentially could cause more damage. So that's why you have to be more considerate about other vulnerable road users around you. That's just one of the changes that have come into place. And there's another change, for example, called the Dutch reach technique. And some of you may have heard of this and some may be thinking, what is this? So let me explain. So what the Dutch reach technique is, is basically when you're opening your car door now, instead of going for the car door with the the hand that's closest to the car door, you need to open the car door with the hand that's further away from the car door. And you might be thinking, why is this? So for example, the reason for this is, let's say if I was opening it with the hand that's further away from the car door, it naturally makes me turn around and then look to see, let's say for example, if there's any cyclists. And same if you're getting out on the other side, you need to go with the hand that's further away from the car door so you're naturally turning your body around, looking, let's say, for example, if there's any cyclists, pedestrians, and so on. Yes, and there's many other changes, like I said. Look in the description link below and familiarize yourself with these changes. And I'll see you in the other video. Stay safe and goodbye. Thank you.